You ready? Mm. Wait. Okay. <laughs> All right, you ready? Look at the TV. Look at the TV. And welcome to the Incredible Hoax. I am Chris. I'm Mark. This is Jude. We affectionately call Judo. He got his name because they used to call him Judo Chop. And we still call him Judo <laughs> Chop sometimes, like a Judo Chop. But then it got shortened to Judo. So that's where Jude come from. Judo come from. Right? He'll probably come and go from this episode. Like he's starting to go now. So there you go. Thanks, bud. All right. This is probably the last series you'll be seeing from this man cave location. We'll be switching the man cave to a new location coming soon. A new, undocumented, undisclosed, super classified location. New and improved new and facilities improved. very soon. We don't know if it'll be improved, but it'll be different. Yes. This will be different facilities, that's yeah. for sure. Change is good. Change is good. That's why all the boxes here and everything else. So, in keeping with the last of this location, you have us a first. Yes, for our uh, first time ever. You know, we're in, we're including our audience with viewer mail. Right? Right. By the way, I'm being slouchy again, and that's because they're in a whole lot of room. So I apologize to those who think I'm slouchy, but I've got literally nowhere else to go. And the camera's in a weird spot, so I'm kind of just sort of fitting. So screw off if you think I'm slouchy. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> just just roll with it, people. Just go with it for what's in your life. Think of Steve Winwood. Just roll with it. All right. Baby. Roll with it, baby. So um, what are we doing today? All right. We're doing viewer mail. Our first question. Ready? We've never done viewer mail, so this is the first to get viewer mail. I kind of uh, try, I, I want to try as we do viewer, viewer mail segments get a to, to keep things in kind of a theme. Okay. You know, at Wee! least keep, keep some kind of unity. But the first question That's is kind of a totally thing. random question. So this will be fun. Okay. So we're going to start with random. All right, random Barbara, question. Deb, uh, Barbara W., from New York, New York. Good God, we have a viewer in New York. <laughs> Jesus. If you, if you could be a tree, what kind of tree would you be? Now, I can start because I have an answer to this. Go for it. I've thought about that over the years. What kind of sure. tree would I be? Mm -hmm. uh, I thought, you know, it would be great to be a pecan tree because... If I get, if I, especially if I'm planted near other pecan trees, mm -hmm. when, so when people come along and start picking pecans, I could like mess with the other trees and say, you don't want their... So that was your life. <laughs> yeah, it's like you don't want their kind, you know. Really, yeah. just sabotage you want those them. apples. You don't want those apples. Yeah, so yeah. I, I thought that would be fun. So oh. if you're going to be a tree, go with that way. You can have a little fun. Well, also you're full of nuts. Did it? Yes, then we'll go with that one. That that yeah. that was an easy one. For, yeah. Um, I I've always felt. See, I'm glad you asked that. That's funny you asked that question because I've had an answer for that for the longest, and I've been waiting for a moment to shine. Here's your moment to to be asked that question. So, if I could be a tree, what kind of tree would I be? And I always felt the best answer anyone could ever give to that is the burning bush. Thank you and good night. <laughs> We're moving on. That's a great answer. All right, uh, Dougie T from Glasgow, Scotland. Jeez Louise. Yes. He. If you could be the miracles of the internet. Yes. If you could be a superhero. Which one would you be? Well, Dougie. Uh, you know, I guess uh, that includes what kind of powers you may want. Dougie you know? e. T., if you're watching this from Glasgow, <laughs> you have no life if you want to know what these two knuckleheads. <laughs> we'll go ahead and entertain this. Right, I, I got thrown off by that. What, if I could be a superhero... Which, Which one, one would, would I be? be? Yeah. All right, well, yeah, I guess you go ahead and answer that one. Which one would I be? Hmm. I want to be the one, the one hero that ends up with Power Girl, whoever that is. Who's Power Girl. Power Girl. If, if you're for you comic book fans, you know very well who who, who Power Girl is. Uh, she's like Supergirl, but uh, let's just say she's well endowed. Okay, so I want to end up with her, and if she's ever played in a movie, should be Kate Upton, absolutely. Hopefully they're working on. If you're gonna work on a, a a a new franchise, Power Girl, Kate Upton. I'm there. I've already pre-purchased my ticket. I'm there. So I want to be whoever hero she shacks up with. I want to be that guy. So that's my answer. 
Well, the power to uh, seduce Power Girl. <laughs> so. <laughs> That'd be Loki. Right. You'd want to be Loki. Loki, all right. Loki could seduce. There you go. Well, the, the, the thing about... Um, if I really had a real life pick, I'd say Superman. He's got so much powers. But I always hated Superman. And I've said this before. Superman to me is that kid when you were a little kids playing... And he always would, like, come up with a new rule to benefit him as you played. So, like, you would, like, hit him, like, oh, you can't hit me because I'm I'm invisible. You couldn't see me. Or, no, I'm impervious to water. Or, no, he would just make up something. Whatever you try to do, he'd make up something new that he could, like, beat. Yeah. So, it was, that's to me Superman. That's the reason why Superman is so much weaker than all the others. Because he's no fun. There's no right. weakness. He's not, he, there's no humanity. He's just, like, he's he's no fun. Right. I can blow wind. I can shoot lasers out of my eyes. It's just like one big... It's like playing with a big jerk-off that, wants, that always wants to trump you. <laughs> He's like the biggest, like, uh... What's that? What's that? What's that called? Uh, uh, one-upper. He's like the biggest one-upper of mm. all time. So who? nobody likes the one-upper. And that's what Superman is. So in real life, I got one shot. Yeah, I'm picking Superman. But my real, like, affection and heart would be Wolverine. I would have to be Wolverine. Just because he's really cool. Like, he's cool. His powers are, are cool enough that, you know, mm -hmm. he quick and add Bandium and the claws and everything else. He's be badass. Nobody could. Right. Nobody could. Yeah, he's the ultimate he just, pugilist. I mean, yeah, he's, he's just, just awesome. a badass. So, plus, he's just cool. And I was just. I was like, by the way, the, the, the Wolverine in the movies never have even gotten close to the awesomeness of the no, Wolverine in the comics. I agree on that. I don't know what the hang up is. The last movie got. Fairly close, where he went to Japan. Yeah, that's the closest they've come. But uh, one of these days, hopefully, they'll figure it out and get his Admanium back in his bones. By the way, but I digress. Full disclosure: my favorite superhero of all time, Hal Jordan, Green Lantern. So, still waiting on a good Green Lantern movie. It made him gay. No, that actually is a different Green Lantern. Oh, yes. Uh, that's right. Yeah, the original Green Lantern, Alan something, I forget his name. But anyway, that's, he, he in another alternate universe, that's the one. Uh, so yeah. Hal is, is untouched. So he's the Rainbow Lantern. That's... <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, our fans in Glasgow will get it. Yeah. Uh, Bob S. in Philadelphia, PA. All right, which comic... What character would you most like to see get the big screen treatment that hasn't already? Oh, okay. Uh, man, I got... So who's in the comics that has not been man, given their own movie? That's got, a very good question. I got an interesting answer to that one. Okay, roll. I'm still waiting on a good Punisher movie, but they've made three of them. But they ain't ever even got close to doing it right. The Dolph Lundgren... And all honestly, the Dolph Lundgren one is the closest... One. Actually, I didn't see Warzone. I take it back. I never didn't see Warzone. To be fair, I never saw Warzone. No, I didn't so see So between either. the Thomas Jane one and the Dolph Lundgren one, yeah. as no as it might sound corny and like, uh, no, the Dolph Lundgren was actually way closer. It was way closer than that other one with yes. the Tom, Thomas Jane. Is yeah, that, I, I, that one sucked. Yeah. Um, so my first off the cuff answer is I still want the ultimate Punisher because the Punisher was great. Mm -hmm. The comic book was great, but they haven't really done it any justice whatsoever. Uh, I have to think about one they haven't done at all. What's your answer? Well, mine would be Vision. I think he's an interesting character. Uh, however, Vision is going to get a... He's supposed to have a role in, in the Vision? new Avengers Age of Ultron. So, we'll, we'll see. But Vision's interesting, so I'd like to see him have a movie. Well, I, I always say a lot of the, the X-Men that I grew up with have not really been very well represented in the X-Men movies. Because when I started reading it, Colossus, uh, Nightcrawler, Kitty Pride, those were all like major characters. And the movies yeah. have all kind of just pfft, yeah. scared it over them. So I wish that core X-Men would get a movie. Um, but I guess it's kind of cheating because they still have been in a movie. That's a great question. I'd have to actually research for that one more. That would actually require more well, research you, but, from me. But you had a pretty good answer there, I thought. Because, okay. you know, 
even though they've made it, they you're still waiting on one to get them to get it right. Oh, go to the next one. All right, uh, John H. London, England. Which superhero franchise would you most like to see rebooted? Well, John in London. Uh, God dang, where we're out there. Uh, rebooted. Well, I am all for rebooting the Andrew Garfield and Spider Mans. Those are a horrible. The you did you ever see this the second Amazing Spider Man? Yeah, I saw John Garfield. I saw or that, Andrew Garfield. Uh, yeah, that one sucks so bad. That should have been up for all kinds of Razzies, and I don't know how it missed the whole Razzie thing for worst movies of the year. They're mm-hmm. lucky they didn't get blasted because. That was one of those movies that I didn't even have to reflect on. As it's happening and as I'm watching it, yeah. it sucked. It was so bad. So I'm all I'm all for this instant reboot they've been talking about with for Amazing Spider Man. I have no problem with that. Uh, having said that, would I like to see rebooted? I think I just kind of answered the, the Punisher. Yeah, I think my official answer will be the Punisher. He still needs to be done right. What do you think? Well, I'm probably going to make a lot of fa- uh, people angry out there, but Uh-oh. I would love to see the X Men uh, get yeah. scrapped and start over, and have it where each movie is is a, is just its own adventure. Because I don't like this. It's just every if you think about it, even mm-hmm. the first X Men with Brian Singer directing mm-hmm. in the year two thousand. It, it, it was like you're a really good movie for about you know like 80 percent, and then there's twenty percent of loose threads that for leading to the second, and you know it's fine if it's like a trilogy you're going to do that I'll accept that, but if it's just going to be that last one, what was it Days of Future Past? Mm-hmm. Did it again? I'm just so exhausted with that whole thing. Well, is Magneto going to be good or bad? And I'm, I'm just I'm bored with it. I just I'd, I'd like us to get where we're going to go and let's move on. So I would I would do X Men, and I would actually have Wolverine, much more capable, more badass uh, than well, yeah. in the movie. Uh, That's I one just, thing. In, in the comic book, he's way bloodier. In the movies, you're like, then everyone else is more powerful than you. Storm's way more powerful. What are you doing? And in the comics, it made sense for Wolverine to be one of the leaders. Mm-hmm. In the films, it doesn't make no sense. So I I'd, I'd scrap the whole thing and start over. There was some. Th- there's some things I do. They they they've done well in the X Men uh, franchise, but mm. overall, I just scrap start over. Um, wow. Next question. Powerful. I, I, there's part of me that kind of agrees. Before you leave that, I don't know if I totally agree because I don't think it's. I think other than the third X Men, they've all been fine. The third X Men was absolute garbage. Uh, X-Men oh yeah. And United. What was it called? Was that the United? Whatever. It's the third Whatever one. It was. It it's was the one really where Professor bad. X dies and Cyclops dies. Yeah. That movie was utter trash, directed by the utter trash Brett Ratner. Yes, I said that. Brett Ratner sucks. Uh, I don't know how he's ever given mm. serious film work to do, but he's utter garbage. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, next one. All right. Richard D. Boston Mass asks, "Well, they they not only are we global, we are like all major cities. These guys are never yeah. from like a suburb. They're all from major points. This is crazy. Well, we got something coming from Nevada City. So. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, do you have a <laughs> favorite comic book, either past or present? Well, that's interesting. A uh, little bit off the movie topic, but it's favorite it's comic, comic book. book. Series." Um, well, I mean, series just just you know, can't comic books that you know uh, early nineties X Men. That's when I really fell in love with the comic those. Books. Were really good. The Wolverine uh, mm-hmm. st- that the he had his own comic book there for a while. And those were really good. Um, I, I have to 80s. I have to say full disclosure. I never really grew up 80s, reading maybe. a lot of comic books, but I did. Uh, um, they used to come out in the 70s with the little records, the little vinyl records, mm-hmm. and you'd play it, and it would, like, you'd, like, read the, it would, like, have a dramatization of the story, mm-hmm. and you'd flip along in your book listening to this 
uh, the record. And one of my favorites were uh, G.I. Joe and not the real American hero and mm, Cobra Commander. Well, the there was like this, uh, G.I. Joe was kind of like an Indiana Jones meets right. Sky Captain guy. And and I really enjoyed those. So that'd be my answer. That was really, uh, for me, kind of a comic booky thing. Yeah, that late 80s, early 90s X-Men where it was Wolverine, Storm, Rogue, uh, Nightcrawler, Colossus, Kitty Pride. Uh, I can't remember if I'm missing something there or not. Professor X, obviously. That was my favorite. That's the, the generation of comics that really grabbed me mm -hmm. and hooked me. And I, that's when an, an X-Men, for me, was the comic. So anyway, that was the one that grabbed me the most. <laughs> As he does a generic intro back in the show we're having technical difficulties and we're going to persist through the show hell or high water okay all right <laughs> all right next question what uh, was your favorite comic again that's how long we were away i just forgot what your the, the, the gi joe yeah, read yeah, yeah, and yeah. uh read and lesson okay that's interesting stuff yeah um roger h nevada city nevada what would you say is the worst superhero movie ever made Ooh. Well, there's a bunch I haven't seen. You know, you hear bad things about Elektra and things like that. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen that it. Howard the Duck. Good. People throw that one out around. Yeah, you know, that is a comic book movie, but I never think about that as a comic book yeah. movie. It is. That is pretty bad. Um, um, that's a good question. That's a good question. The worst. I'll say this, so, that, so we're not, you know, maybe people don't think about these because yeah. yeah superman 4 quest for peace was really bad right so bad that it took them what almost 20 years before they tried again right and uh john Pryor was one of like the henchmen mm -hmm. for uh i think lex luther i think so and he was so terrible in that movie i mean it's great now like, everyone thinks of him like in two and a half uh men and and he's uh, you know he's fine in that show, and he he was sure. able to kind of get past that. But if you would have been like a, a talent agent, you saw Superman four, you wouldn't have booked him. He was so terrible in right. that movie. So good for him that he was able to kind of get his career back on track. But uh, that's that particular sequel was so bad it killed that franchise cold. So I'll go with that one. Man, can I say Amazing Spider Man two? That newer, the newest one. Sure, I, you you really didn't like it. Well, without researching it a little bit more, I'm sure I'm forgetting a ton of bad stuff. But that one is fresh on my mind, and that was easily maybe the worst movie of the year last year. It was so even the effects were bad, and you expect a movie like that that they spend that much money on to yeah. look good. It didn't even look good. Yeah, Andrew Garfield, who I think is a good actor was so bad in it he was embarrassingly bad there's just weird moments where he'll just smile for no reason and not in that oh peter parker's supposed to be awkward way no this was like given bad direction stuff there was just i was just like there was not one good choice in that movie other than to end it you know what i mean the only right. smart choice they made was when they said okay the roll the credits it's over with that was the only smart choice they made it was it was abysmal. It was zero stars. I think I probably would have walked out of the theater if I saw it at the theater. It was it was abysmal, completely uh, abysmal. Uh, and and the first one had its merits. I like the, first the Amazing Spider-Man. It had its merits. It was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, but the second one, oh my Garbage. gosh. And and this is from somebody who was not ready for them to do Spider-Man without Tobey Maguire. I was not ready for it. So they Sony Pictures rushed into a, a reboot, and I really wasn't ready. So the first one was entertaining, but I really wasn't on board that much. And then they make that second one, and it was clearly, yeah. story wise, so poor it was compared bad. to the first. It was, it was abysmal. So, it was absolutely abysmal. I don't think that's a bad choice at all. Okay. Uh, Stephanie G, Queens, New York. What is the best superhero movie ever made? Queens, New York. Good Lord. We are nationwide, my friends. Yes. Nationwide. 
The phenomenon well, is get growing. Get some Texas people to represent in the next one. <clears throat> uh, favorite superhero movie of all time. Go for that. You oh, you want me to go first? Yeah, oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Sure, I was go letting you it. go. Um, the Dark Knight is my favorite. Okay. Um, Christopher Nolan's film, 2008. Yeah. That one, I think, just pound for pound. Um, I, it. You can really watch it without seeing Batman Begins. You mm -hmm. don't really. It works as a standalone sure. film. So you can, you can watch it like it's one of the rare itself. sequels that really you don't need to see the predecessor, mm -hmm. and so it stands on its own two feet. You have the legendary performance from um, Heath Ledger as Joker. Um, great direction, editing, Christian Bale, you know, wonderful as Batman. Mm -hmm. Just everything's just working. Everything works to a fever pitch to the very uh, end. Right. I mean, it's just everything clicked in that film. Uh, and it, But also it had a very kind of film noir and, and, gr and just kind of grounded in reality vibe to it. So that's my pick, The Dark Knight. Uh, I'm gonna go with a different one, but I'm gonna name off an honorable. I thought Dark Knight, the second movie, was awesome. I thought Spider Man 2, the Tobey Maguire, Sam Raimi, Spider Man 2 was awesome. Mm -hmm. I thought it was fantastic. Uh, but to me, almost because it sort of set a trend of the two movie being the best one. Mm -hmm. uh, Captain America 2 was better than the first one Iron Man 2 was one of those few that I thought Iron Man 2 wasn't near as good as the first one um, oh lord no Iron Man 2 is so traditionally the second superhero movie is the better one um, X-Men 2 was better than X-Men 1 Superman 2 I'll say is my favorite because it started that trend where that second one took that next step forward Yeah, it was a much more well thought out layered textured movie so i'm going to say superman too well that, that's because a good one. It, like i said it set the trend and all of and most of the other two movies sequels second movies have followed its pattern ever since and by the way as an asterisk not the richard donner cut i think the richard donner cut is garbage i thought that richard donner thing is a novelty uh maybe if he had done it the all the way through the first time mm -hmm. i'd have something different to say but based on that crappy Richard Donner edition they put out on DVD, yeah. to me that thing is garbage. It is horrible. It is the original version that... Who was the director? Uh, Richard Lester. That version is phenomenal. That's the one I'm referring to. That's the one I remember. That's the one I think of. Uh, the Richard Donner one can join the Star Wars special editions in, in hell. <laughs> well, that, that studio I, I i i used to tell him that the richard donner cut was like the the biggest most grandest deleted scene of all time right meaning you know you know for us dvd and uh, aficionados uh it really should have just been a bonus feature yeah that footage that didn't get used and it could have been part of a deluxe superman to the theatrical release that's what they should have done but they tried to do this half-ass solution. And, uh, you know, it was really, I think, taking advantage of consumers, frankly. Anyway, You're that's right. my take. Um, Hang on. My kiddo's downstairs. It is in here. And uh, I was trying to keep him away. That's where I just threw something on screen. He's trying to fall asleep. So, sorry about that interruption, folks. The little kid got back at the bad cave somehow. <laughs> All right, well, this is, that, that was it. So that, that was it for this edition. All right, well, that was the superhero super deluxe edition of the Incredible Hoax. That will yes. probably be trimmed down to four episodes, <laughs> and we might have to clean up the whole thing right to throw something at the kid, but that's okay. <laughs> well, uh, I was kind of in a spiel uh, near that, so I apologize for interrupting your spiel. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't miss anything. All right, good. Uh, <laughs> what you get folks for all you watching is the glass cow that's why you're doing the every... perfect way to end the uh the, the, <laughs> with this bad cave right so long man cave so long it's nice to know you